Likewise, Dick caught in zipper. <laughs> Was Dick caught in zipper an event and situation which happened to Franklin the Giant? Did his own penis, the foreskin or the part of the testicles, the scrotal sac, did it become trapped in a zipper? <laughs> did he find that funny immediately? Did he laugh at it immediately? <laughs> or did he dwell on it over time? Think long and hard about how funny that would be. <laughs> or was it something he observed at first hand? Did the dick of a man in a urinal next to him become caught in a zipper? And if so, did he look down at it? And see, did he laugh immediately? <laughs> and if so, did that lead to problems? <laughs> well, again, did he go away and think about it? I don't know. I've not listened to the record, as I say. I never will. I've no idea uh, how it's dealt with. I'm not interested. Um, <laughs> But I have become mildly obsessed with Franklin and Jai. I found a book uh, that he's written, a book about how to do stand-up comedy. It's called Comic Insights, Notes of a Jazz Comedian. And uh, Franklin and Jai is known as the jazz comedian. He's known as the jazz comedian in his own imagination. <laughs> there's a little endorsement on the back of this book from uh, another comedian called... Uh, Keenan Ivory Wayans. Now, uh, I've not seen his work, but he's in the scary movie series of films, so one imagines it'd be very good. <laughs> and Keenan Ivory Wayans writes, Franklin Ajay is the Miles Davis of comedy. The Miles Davis of comedy. Now, <laughs> with the best will in the world, I don't know if it's possible for there to be a Miles Davis of comedy. Miles, da Miles Davis had a 50-year... Uh, a career in jazz during which he outlived every major stylistic change. He initiated many of them from, from bebop and, and hardbop in, in the 50s through to, to cool jazz and, and the, the modal jazz of the 60s and, and, and invented jazz fusion. At the time of his death, he, he was working with hip-hop artists and with the, with the best one in the world, I don't know if there's ever really been an artist comparable to that in, in stand-up. You know, it's, it's a very different thing. And, and if you look at this, this is the... Uh, the 50th anniversary edition of um, Miles Davis's best album, uh, Kind of Blue. You know, I mean, the whole vibe is, is completely different. It's all, you know, I mean, the tracks on here, they're things like Flamenco Sketches, which was Miles Davis's first attempt to, to work with uh, Spanish guitar transcription. It's entirely different. There aren't tracks on here called Homosexuals and Girls with Big Breasts. It's entirely different. <laughs> Although, weirdly, this 50th anniversary edition comes with extra tracks, and there is a, a studio outtake there called Dick Caught in Zipper. <laughs> on which, weirdly, uh, John Coltrane is playing an alto. <laughs> a couple of people laughing at that, of course, because uh, Coltrane's normal horn of choice in the classic Miles Davis quintet was the tenor, Cannonball Adderley normally played the alto, so a uh, little joke about jazz there. <laughs> so who's the jazz comedian now? <laughs> <laughs>